Okay, hey, welcome back everyone. And today we're gonna be working on a three-part series of creating your own template file, also known as your startup file. And in this startup file, you're gonna to wanna to have um, your units set, your limits set, your layers, dimension styles, multi-liter styles, text styles. Uh, then we're gonna copy paste a border we're going to save your template file and I'm going to show you how to use it in the future when you want to start a new drawing. So you'll have all your settings there. Okay, so let's get started. And the first thing that I'm going to do is open up a new drawing. And this new drawing is going to be the drawing that will be our startup file. We're going to build on it. Okay, so we're going to go up to the application menu and I'm going to pick new drawing and that brings us to the template folder and we are going to start with the default template file which is called ACAD alright let's pick open there okay so we've got a uh, we're in the ACAD template file and it's opened up a drawing called drawing 4 because the template file gives it a name when you say file new alright so um, I'm just going to switch my ribbon to the home tab and what I want to start off with is um, I'm going to start off by setting the units, okay? So you can actually set the units by just typing in the word units on the command line. And because for the next few drawings that we're going to do and the drawings we've been doing in the past, our drawings are decimal inch, okay? And so this is where you set the units. And the default template file that I opened already has it set to decimal and it has it set to a precision of four places. So what that means is that if I take a measurement in AutoCAD or I ask AutoCAD for any kind of information, it will tell me the information out to four places. Now we can be even more accurate that, than that and go all the way up to, um, I believe, nine or ten places here. Um, but I'm actually comfortable with three-place decimal so I'm going to set the precision to three place. This has nothing to do with your dimensions. This has to do with how the computer uh, and AutoCAD communicate with you distances. Okay, And we want our decimal unit to mean that we're talking about a decimal inch. Uh, decimal units can also be assumed as a foot or millimeters, um, centimeters, so one unit um, can mean all of these different um, scales of measurement and we're going to keep it on inches. Okay, for angles we have decimal degrees. Uh, that's very typical. So we're looking at, you know, 0, 90, 270, all the way up to 360 degrees um, as compared with other ways to measure angles, all right? So we're going to keep that on decimal degrees. And we're going to pick OK here, all right? So we know we have the right unit set for our template file. All right, the next thing we're going to do is set the limits, which I'm going to actually type the word limits on the command line. And you'll notice that the command line has a default um, start for the limits of 0, comma 0. And that would be zero in the X, zero in the Y, where the UCS icon um, right here is located. And I'm going to accept that because I do want that to be the lower left corner of my limits. So I do an enter to accept that. The upper right corner here, the default is 12 comma 9. And for the size drawings we're doing, they are smaller than 12 inches by 9 inches. So that is a good view this is kind of like you have to look at limits as the 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 area that you're viewing on the screen. Um, it's kind of your drawing area. So I'm going to accept the 12 by 9 by hitting enter. If I wanted something different, maybe something much bigger, I would have to do the x comma y, uh, say 60 comma 40, or something like that if I needed a bigger view area to look at. Okay, so let's do that. The next thing I'm going to do is make the screen go to those limits by doing a zoom all. I happen to have zoom all up here on my toolbar, but you can also just type in Z, enter, A, enter, 
and I'll do that now. And that does the same thing. Okay, so that brings us approximately to the 12 by 9 limits that we set. All right, I'm going to turn the grid off. Okay, and the next thing that we have to do in this thing is to create a few layers. Um, we only have layer zero up here that you can see. So I'm going to go into the layer manager and I'm going to pick on the new layer button. All right, I also have a previous tutorial on this, um, but I'm going to make a couple of layers in here. First one is going to be the object layer for object lines, and that layer is going to be red, and we're going to give it a line weight of 0 0.024. That's a fairly heavy line weight. Objects should be heavy. Um, I'm going to do another layer, and I'm going to make a hidden layer with the color is going to be magenta, which is also color six. And I'm going to make the weight of my hidden lines uh, 0 0.010, which is 10. Okay. Now a hidden line uh, actually is a dashed line. So I have to load a dashed line type and attach it to this layer because I don't want to see a continuous line on the hidden layer, I want to see hidden lines. So I'm going to click on the word continuous and this is my um, area where I load line types. So uh, this is kind of like the, I call it like the on deck area. So we need to load some new ones. I'm going to pick load and I'm going to come down to, there is actually a line type called hidden okay and it is a dashed line so uh, you can see there's other line types in here gas lines fence lines uh, let's pick okay now to make the hidden line type go to this layer I need to highlight it so I'm going to pick on hidden so what's highlighted here will go to the highlighted layer here so let's pick okay and you can see now that this hidden layer has a hidden line type which will be a dashed line all right, so let's make another layer. Okay, I'm going to make a dimension layer. And we're going to make that color 96. So I'm going to actually just type in color 96, which is like a dark green. Um, I do want my dimensions to be a continuous line type. So I'm going to make sure that that stays continuous. And dimension lines are thin. So I'm going to make that 0 0.008 for the line weight. Okay, that's it for layers. Um, those look pretty good. Let's close the dialog box. And if we go to our layer pull down, we can see we have all the layers right there. Okay, so stay tuned now for part two where we're going to do uh, dimension styles, multi-leader styles, and text styles that we're going to add to this template file.